Hello peeps, Drogot here, welcome back to another Starmate tutorial. So today I am going to bring you this animated scrolling text marquee style thingy. Okay, uh, for this version we are using something smaller, just because um, it would not make sense, you, you know. The bigger thing is only bigger that's everything to it so there's no additional sections or blocks in there so what we first need is actually the um, lights and how the lights are going to get addressed these delay blocks are connected to give the signal to the next delay block as well as lighting one of the sides right so the first thing we do is we figure out how long we want to be our banner thing or even make it round, right? In this case, I thought, well, eight, eight, you know, eight columns of light. That's, that's okay. That's enough for today. So what I'm going to do now is copy this thing. So it's five high as well. And then we need a tower of all blocks and we always select one or to the first delay block we will need like this. Now, if I turn on this all block, for example, it will give a signal and the signal will travel in the direction of, well, we are reading from left to right so all the stuff has to travel left. Other countries might have different habits regarding this. This is all the magic about those all blocks. Now we need to encode what we want to send over here. So to hook this up, we need a delay block down there, which is giving its signal to all the add blocks. And we need these activation modules also being connected to the add blocks, right? Okay, what we are doing now is then, so I have a very simple uh, thing in mind for today, because this thing is only going to say hi. <laughs> okay, that's it. Now what we need is, we need to connect these delay blocks down here again to each other, like so. Okay. And um, each of them also should be connected to all those, right? That's important. And now we need to make sure that all the ends back here are connected to those ores. Of course, for the um, ends of the second row, we also go into the all of the second row. Okay, now having all of those connected, we are now able to input basically um, our text, like such. Of course, you would not need the end blocks and the activation blocks at those positions which you don't care about, right? But if you ever want to change the text, you will have to put them back and reconnect them. And this might be really unpleasant because, uh, well, depending on how long your text is, these are a few thousand blocks you have to connect them. So I prefer, you know, doing it now and then just leave it as it is so I can easily change the text anytime I want. Okay, now these five blocks are the entire magic which then make all the other stuff work. We have to connect all those delay blocks to this ore. Like so. Now this ore is hooked up to this knot and this knot basically then triggers the usual button logic thingy, right? So you know the end gate, delay into knot, knot is charged back into the end. Yeah, so delay goes into knot, knot goes into the end. And from this end, we then get a one tick pulse, which we route into the first delay, which will get our whole system started. 
Um, it won't right now because it's not updated, but this button actually helps. And you see over there, it's working. Hi! <laughs> I put this button here and connect it to this knot just to reset it every time I want, right? And if there is nothing displayed or if, you know, the server has just loaded the sector and the entire logic is like screwed up, what you have to do is just activate this thing, deactivate this thing, and it goes beam, high. And every time high has passed by, it restarts high. Yeah, this is the entire tutorial. This is really just, you know, the basics of how to do the stuff and you can make this as big as you want that's it thanks for watching please leave a like if you liked it see you next time with another gluten-free video bye guys